Let me show you how to zoom in and out in DaVinci Resolve. Let's first decide where our zoom in effect will start. Let's say here. We need to add a keyframe. To add a keyframe, we go to Inspector. If it's not open, click here. And we need to add a keyframe where it says Zoom X and Zoom Y. To add a keyframe, click on this diamond shape here. And when it turns red, it means that a keyframe has been added. When I added a keyframe, two new icons showed up in this lower corner here. Let's click the right one. If we click that icon, we will see all the keyframes added. Now we need to decide where the zoom in effect ends. Let's say somewhere here. We need to add another keyframe. There is another way to add a keyframe. All you have to do is change either of the values. And a keyframe has been added, as you can see in this area here. Now we need to decide where we want our zoom out effect to start. Let's say it's going to be somewhere here. What I want to do is this keyframe here to have the same value as this keyframe here. So I can copy that keyframe. One way to copy it is to click on the keyframe, hold the option key on your Mac and drag it to the right and release the mouse where you want the keyframe to be pasted. And also I need to decide where the zoom out effect will end. Let's say it's going to be somewhere like here. And I want the zoom out to be the same as this keyframe here. There is another way of copying a keyframe. You click to select it. When it turns red, hit command C to copy and command V to paste. And the keyframe will be pasted where the timeline bar is located. Now we have a zoom in effect. <laughs> and the zoom out effect. When we added the keyframe on the transform tab, you notice that the zoom X and zoom Y are linked together, which means whichever value we change, both will be changed together accordingly, proportionally. When we have more than one value keyframed, you will see an arrow, right arrow icon here. And if you click it, you will see all the keyframed values. In our case is the zoom X and zoom Y. The last thing I want to show you is how to change the animation. Click on this icon here. I want to add an ease out effect to this keyframe, select it and click this icon here. And I want to add an ease in effect here select it and hit this icon here and now we have changed the animation if you want to move the keyframes left and right you can do it from here or from this area here it will be better to move them from here if you want them just to be moved horizontally just click the icons here click this keyframe hold the command on Mac and click on the second keyframe and now if we click and drag them to the left or to the right the keyframes will be moved accordingly and here is our final animation Maybe the effect is too quick, so let me close this graph first. Let's select all of the keyframes first. And now our zoom in and zoom out effect take longer, which will look much, much better. Hopefully this was useful to you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.